Here's a little mini series that we're going to be working on where we focus on small things that will improve your gameplay no matter what race you play. Today we're going to be focusing on one element at a time. Honestly, win or lose, that's cool. But if the MMR is doing its job right, you're only going to win about 50% of your games. If it's a little bit weaker than you are, you're going to win a little bit more. If it thinks you're a little bit too good, you're going to lose a little bit more. But generally speaking, Blizzard wants you winning about 50% of your games. So focusing on win or lose alone isn't actually going to help you as a player. What will help you is learning build orders, and we've got plenty of videos about that. What will help you is learning unit control, and we've got plenty of videos about that. But there's not many people out there with videos about how to practice, how to get better, and what to look for to know that you are getting better. So first off, I just want to say, fuck wins and losses. I'll say that again. Fuck wins and losses. Focus on small details. If you're a Zerg player, choose one element of your gameplay and focus on that. Make sure you're doing that. And if you can, focus on just one matchup at a time. So if you're having trouble with Zerg vs Protoss, only play Zerg vs Protoss. Custom games with friends is great for this, particularly if those friends are better than you. One thing you can focus on is just making sure you don't get supply blocked, but you're not making too many overlords at once. A key rule of thumb there is to just make sure you're making one overlord per hatchery per cycle. So if you have three hatcheries, you should be making three overlords per cycle. Another thing you might be able to focus on would be keeping your overlords out on the map. If you did that, consider it a victory, whether you actually win or lose the game. If your goal is to focus on injects, focus on your injects. If your goal is to focus on creep spread, focus on creep spread. If you want to focus on splitting your units and attacking from multiple angles, then that's what you should be focusing on. If today you want to focus on doing nothing but nidus play or drops or being aggressive in multiple places at once, then each of these are different metrics you can judge your own gameplay by. And if you find a way to work that into your game, that's a success. If not, it's a failure, and that will be the criteria by which you judge yourself. Focus on just one element at a time, and as you improve that element, you're going to improve overall. So think of it kind of like this. If you're focusing on something, maybe you're at like, let's just say 50% with it, and you can get it up to 95% because all your attention is focused right there on it, well, the next time you go to play and you're not focused on that, you may not be at 95% anymore. After all, you're not as focused, right? But you're not going back to 50%. You're going to be somewhere around 80%. Now, these are completely made up numbers, but I think you get what I'm saying here. Please tune in next week as I will be talking about how to look at your replays and how to schedule your time in order to become the best player possible. I'll see you guys then. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.